when you look on a map of Costa Rica, you know, it looks like we might not have, you know, traveled that much. But considering, um, you know, just the, the traveling and the places that we got to go, um, gosh, we got to see several different types of forest, different um, ecosystems. I had no idea Costa Rica was so varied. And getting to see it all, that yeah, was really fascinating. I am not an artist in any way, and so taking the art classes on this trip helped change my perspective on how to observe and really be more observant, not only of the birds themselves, but where they're located, their behaviors, that type of thing, so that then you can later identify them um, in the bird book, but also then be able to draw them in with all the detail that they do have. So the classes really helped have a different perspective on how to look at the birds and get more information as you're looking at them instead of just noticing that they're beautiful and nice to look at, but just to look at the little details like the wing patterns and that type of thing. So the class was very helpful. I've never really been an artist, but being a biologist, the anatomy of animals is always really interesting, but I've never really studied birds before, and so I really like, you know, learning the different parts of the wing, and I mean, I never even really thought about how a bird sits and how they hold their wings in the different parts, and how many different kinds of feathers there are, and all the different birds, and just their different body forms. So I really like that part of it. And it also really makes you pay attention to the field markings, not just a brown bird with a yellow head, but you know, where the where the brown is and where it stops and where it ends and what the wings look like and how long the wing feathers are and just all that stuff I think really adds to the identification. What just happened now was a uh, Rufus Motmot graced us with fabulous views. Folks got a look at it through the scope, noted the field marks, and began sketching. Several techniques are going on here. Such a pretty thing. Oh, he's turning around and everything. He's screening right now. What I'm really enjoying about this trip <clears throat> is that I don't have to be the most excellent birder. I came as a beginner. I've learned so much. I'm still a beginner, but I'm comfortable being that way in this group. It's the best.
Still behind the trunk there, which is there's nothing in here that is the orange fist. We've had such a great time. We have expert guides taking us around to make sure everybody gets a chance to see the birds. We've gone to some out of the way places that most other tour buses or other guide services that we've encountered don't go. Mm -hmm. So we get, I think, an advantage on the number of birds we see and the unique parts of the country. This has been my very first trip on Majestic Feathers and I would do it again in a heartbeat.